Vengeance is not ours, it's God's. Alms, alms, alms. Spare me a piece of bread. Spare me your mercy. I'm a child so young, so thin, and so ragged. Why are you staring at me? With my eyes, I cannot see. But I have a feeling you are all staring at me. Why are you whispering to one another? Why? Do you know my mother? Do you know my father? Do you know me three years ago? Yes, three years of bitterness have passed. I can still remember the vast happiness mother and I shared with father. It was one lovely evening. My father was sitting in his favorite big chair in the sala. My mother was singing and playing the piano while I danced for them. We were happy indeed. Suddenly, five loud knocks were heard at the door and a deep silence ensued. Did the cruel Nippons discover our peaceful home? Mother ran, trembling to father's side, pleading. Please, Julian, hide there in the cellar. They cannot find you there. I pulled father's hand, but it seemed as though his feet were glued to the floor. The door went bang, and before us, five ugly beasts came barging in. Are you Captain Julian Santos, roared the ugliest beast of them all? Yes, admitted my father. What do you want? You are under arrest, roared the leader of the beast. They pulled father roughly away from us. Father was not even given a chance to bid us goodbye. We followed them mile after mile. We were hungry and thirsty. We passed a group of Japanese eating and drinking. How our mouths watered seeing the delicious fruits they were eating. A sudden familiar voice called. First, it was loud and clear. Then, fainter, fainter, fainter. Consuelo, Pasita, Consuelo, Pasita. We ran in the direction of the voice, but it was too late. We found father hanging on a tree, dead. Oh, it was terrible. Everything went black. The next thing I knew was I was nursing my poor sick mother in our old house. One morning we heard the church bells ringing. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. It was an alarm for us to find shelter in our hideout. There was confusion all around. Cannons were firing from somewhere. Airplanes were roaring overhead. Bombs were bursting all around. Boom, 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 boom. Mother was hit. Her legs shattered into bits. I took her gently in my arms and shouted, I'll have vengeance, vengeance, vengeance. No, Pasita, vengeance is not ours, it's God's, said Mother. And she expired. Mother was dead, dead. Dead! New strength surged within me. Mother was dead and I was blind. I must live to avenge. Vengeance is not immune, not the Lord's. No, Pasita, vengeance is not ours, it's God's. These were Mother's dying words. But I cried for vengeance. I was a pent up volcano. Vengeance is not ours. To forgive is divine, but vengeance is sweeter. That was three years ago. Three years. Alms, alms, alms. Spare me a piece of bread. Spare me your mercy. I am a child so young, so thin, and so ragged. Vengeance is not ours. It's, it's, it's God's.